Hello YouTube, today we're going to talk about motovlogging on Cruiseman's Motovlog. They call me Cruiseman. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motovlogs. I've had several emails and comments on other videos I've done from those of you who are interested in doing your own motor vlog and you want to know what kind of setup do I have, both video, audio, editing, all that. Okay, so today I'm going to tell you about my rig and I've gone through several different setups to try to get what I have now that I think is working pretty good. The video, uh, what I'm using for that is a GoPro Hero 4 Silver, which seems to be a pretty stable platform. I had a little issue at one point with the uh, audio video freezing up on me. I think I might have been using the wrong SD card, the micro SD card, but I got that resolved. I went to YouTube's, I'm sorry, I went to GoPro's uh, website and looked up what the approved and recommended micro SD cards are. So you have to have one that's compatible, has a high enough transfer rate, and that seemed to resolve that issue. I had a lot of problems getting the audio to come out the way I like it. The first thing I tried was the Cena Bluetooth backpack for the GoPro. And basically what this does is it connects to the back of the GoPro camera and you pair it with your Cena headset and then as you talk through the microphone on the headset it transfers that audio to whatever you're recording on the GoPro camera. And it worked okay but it had its own set of problems. I found myself having to reset my Cena headset before every time I rode because otherwise it could screw up really screw up and then I you know you lose a video you go through the whole process of making a motor vlog and you get home and you put it on your computer to edit it and there's no audio but I learned if you reset the Cena 20s using the little uh, oh I use like a paper clip or something in the little hole on the back of it to reset it that would resolve that issue and then I eventually started testing the Cardo Pack Talk Bold, and the Cardo Pack Talk would not pair with the Cena Bluetooth backpack for the GoPro. They only allow you to pair it. You can actually pair it, but you get really, really low quality audio. So Cena tries to keep that proprietary. So I started looking for another solution to use so I could motovlog while I'm using the Cardo headset. So what I decided to do was go with a external lavalier microphone which you basically plug into the USB port of the GoPro. And I went through two or three different iterations of microphones. Was not getting very good quality until I came across this little lavalier microphone called Purple Panda. And I bought it on Amazon. I think it was like 23 bucks. It was pretty cheap. I'll put the link in the description down below. And this Purple Panda came with all of the uh, accessories, connectors, and everything you need to, to uh, use it with a GoPro. And that's what I've been using. I have the microphone mounted to the inside of the chin bar on my HJC Cymax 3 helmet, which is a modular helmet. I have the GoPro here mounted to the front of that chin bar using a standard GoPro mount. I bought a couple of little uh, joints, I guess you would call them, on Amazon, and I'll put the link in the description down below that you basically can adjust and get it just the way you want it. So this is a setup that I've been using for quite some time for most of my motor vlogs. It's the one I'm using today. 
and uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. I'm pretty happy with the video and the audio. Now I'll tell you a little bit more about editing, uh, but I want to remind you if you like this video and other videos like this, please take a second to subscribe down below and click on that little bell icon if you want YouTube to notify you of new videos that I come up with. Really appreciate all my subscribers and all you guys that give me a thumbs up like on the videos. And for those of you who take the time to put in comments, much appreciated. So basically that's my rig for shooting motovlogs. Now as far as the editing software, I use an Apple Macintosh, actually an iMac. And I use a product called Final Cut Pro. You could probably use iMovie. I'm just not familiar with iMovie. And it doesn't have all the capabilities of Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro is a professional level editing platform. But of course, it's a little more complex and takes a little more learning. So I'm guessing. Uh, you know, between all my gear and everything, I've got a few thousand dollars invested in this. And it probably takes me anywhere from three to four hours to put together one motovlog. By the time I shoot it, edit it, do the audio part, and all that. Now, I might, in the future, go to a digital audio recorder instead of using the GoPro for audio. I know Don Smith, this friend of mine that does a lot of uh, audio video, he's a professional cameraman, and he likes to use a digital recorder. So I may go to that because I think you probably do get better results and you have a little more flexibility than using the GoPro for audio. So that's my rig. That's what I use right now. I'm always looking for new, better stuff. But if you do motovlogs, you know, let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to take a look at what you're doing and the rig that you've got set up for doing your motovlogs. Now, I know some of you guys are really into this, like Memphis Mike and uh, Chris Caliente, and you've got multiple cameras. You might have a second camera on your handlebar shooting up at you, or I know Chris has a camera on his uh, back. I don't know if it's on his trunk or where it is, but it shoots back on his trailer. So, uh, and then that just, that takes a lot more time to do editing because you have to synchronize all the audio uh, with those different video clips so that it does give you a very cool result. And I've thought about doing that in the future. I just haven't done it yet. So we'll see if I do that or not. Anyway, appreciate you guys tuning in today. Just wanted to let you know a little bit about my motor vlogging setup and I'll see you next time on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.